Welcome to what has been called the worst movie tie-in game ever made by IGN. This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for Nintendo DS. Um, to give you a little bit of an introduction as to what this game is like, it's kind of like a WarioWare type game. It's full of mini games, but imagine the mini games are more early childhood baby type games, like memory card, memory based games and paint by numbers and, you know, rub your stylus on this to make it go away. Very, very basic stuff. Um, so it's naturally terrible. Um, you're going to see here we have four different stories we can choose from. Rudolph is the one that's unlocked right now. We also have Hermie, Mrs. Claus, and the last one is just called Reindeer. Guess they couldn't come up with a better name. But this one is uh, the Rudolph book. That's what we're going to be focusing on because that's the titular character. And I do implore you to get your, um, your vocal cords warmed up at home because this run naturally ends with a bouncing ball sing-along of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so I hope you're ready. But right now we're going to get started. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so basically how this controls, as you can see on my layout, I actually have the touch screen as the main focus as opposed to the top screen, which is usual for DS games. That is because the top screen is not really used for anything beyond just like dialogue boxes, so you don't really need to see those in terms of speedrun. You in terms of the speedrun, you want to see what it is that we're doing. Um, and this speedrun exists almost entirely just on the touchscreen. Um, you also, we just skipped a mini game there. There are several mini games that you can skip, and almost all of them are based in their design based mini games. They're like, you know, decorate this tree, they're, you know, paint this picture, they're, um, you know, do something like that. Um, you don't have to do any of those specific kinds of games. Um, this one is a memory based game, as you can tell is it that one. Nah, wrong red box. I always mistake the two red boxes. Um, basically, I just cleared these as I go on as much as I can. So, for example, like I'm just going through and I'm finding matches uh, by going to the ones next to each other. Um, I just find that as an easier way of doing the, doing things. Um, which one was the candy cane? Is it this? No, that's the train. Ah, no, couldn't get lucky. Um, all right, yeah. So I was trying, I was trying to get a little cocky there, but uh, yeah, paid the price for it. Unfortunately, was it this one? No. There we go. There's the candy cane. Yeah, but not a lot of rhyme or reason to it. You just want to be able to clear that as fast as possible. I find the fastest way of doing those memory based games is to just go in sequential order until you start seeing a lot of matches as opposed to just jumping around the map randomly because then you're going to forget where things are located. So I just find it a little bit easier for me in that regard. Um, not that it matters anyway, because this game is terrible, but um, yeah, how we're mashing here, by the way, is we're just hammering the stylus in the bottom right corner of the touch screen of the DS. Uh, now we got a like tracing perforation thing where we have to uh, cut out each piece of a train here. And then we have to uh, put the train together and then paint the train in a way. Um, you'll see what I mean by in a way in just a second. All right, so now all the pieces are cut out. You just have to put them in place. Great, and then it says paint the face here. You're gonna have to trust I'm doing that. I'm rubbing its face, but the game, you know, so well designed, of course, decide us not to turn the train to face us so that we could paint the face accurately would rather much rather us paint the face from the side with like minimal that we're able to do. Um, now we got a nice paint by numbers, which who doesn't love that? Uh, we're going to do that and five. Boom. Nice train. Beautiful train. So fast world record pace. Um, there are quite a few mini games here that we can exploit um, slash not really have to do. Um, this game doesn't has basically has an included feature where you can't really lose. Um, there's no time limit, you know, as long as you complete something or attempt something even, um, that's all the game really cares about. So um, you'll see coming up here that there are a couple mini games that all we have to do is like put in an input and then, you know, that's all I have to worry about. This is not one of them, unfortunately. This is a match, another matching based mini game that I'm just gonna focus on to not embarrass myself and look like a kindergartner. Good, all right, cool. 
So yeah, basically, it's like, I think those games are like called Simon Says or something like that. Where you just have to do it in the exact pattern that it shows you. Uh, so it's the same kind of deal. Alright, so this one is my least favorite game by far. Basically, you have to put the specific colored lights on in the specific squares. It, you, you would actually think it's not as annoying as it is, but it's weirdly precise. Um, and you have to be very careful that you're using the exact right colors, because some of these colors look very much alike. Um, which is unfortunate. Um, so luckily enough for us, this is the only one that we have to do in Rudolph's book, and it's the, probably the smallest one too, um, which is just this candy cane. It only uses two colors, so it's pretty simple. But yeah, those are my least favorite games by far in this excellent mini game collection, of course. Um, you guys loving the the Rudolph song, by the way, because uh, it's the only song in the game. So I hope you really like it. It just repeats that on and on and on and on. Does not vary it up at all in terms of song or like in terms of, you know, it doesn't even like add lyrics or like change the style of the song at any point. Just a standard like chip tuney parlor shop one. So yeah, it's um, it's well made. That's what that's what I'll say. Uh, worth noting that this this um game does have a Wii version as well, though I I have never played it, but uh, they sound to be very different. Um, they are both very quick and very much a waste of money, though. Um, you might be wondering, like, how did I come into this game, right? Um, my mom actually bought this for me as a Christmas stocking stuffer probably like 10 years ago or something from a discount store not even from like a game store she got it out of like a very a discount store for cheap on the nothing she thought it, it was like a gag gift she thought it'd be funny and i you know i had a laugh at you know at the time and then i was like okay time to get rid of this i tried to sell it tried to sell it on ebay tried to sell it. no one no one would buy it for pennies on the dollar like i think i listed it on ebay for a dollar no one bought it so I was like, all right, well, let's see what we got. Might as well like see what we're working with. So I was like, all right, let's try a speed run. You know, Christmas season's coming up in the United States. You know, maybe it'll be a, a goofy fun time to learn. All right, so that is one of the games that we can exploit there. Basically, um, it's kind of like a, a ch children's version of Flappy Bird, where we you just make it so that Rudolph jumps from house to house. Does not matter how long you last. Uh, you just have to try it. So you can fail on the first house and then move on. Nice little exploit there. Saves a lot of time. Um, you guys enjoying the story of Rudolph, by the way? I will say that uh, completing this game is roughly the same amount of time as it is to watch the, the movie. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, if you're thinking about playing this game at home, probably just watch the movie instead. Is uh, it would be my suggestion. Another paint by numbers here. Please, thank you. There we go. Could have been better, but we got a nice Rudolph and Clarice. That's his girlfriend, by the way. That's my dog barking. He also hates this game. And you know, uh, Jabba, I can't really blame you because it's 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 hard. It's hard to play. It's hard to enjoy. But you know, we're here. We're having a good time, and all for the sake of charity, probably. So can't complain. Uh, here's that snowball uh, snowman game I was mentioning before. Basically, we have to uh, make the uh, snowman. We just have to put it together. And then uh, once we have the three balls here, it'll be like, okay, now it's time to decorate our snowman. Come on. But we don't have to do that at all. We can just skip it. All right. So skipping on through these next few mini games as well. Uh, nothing really having to do. Uh, mo most, mostly just decoration based games. We meet our good friend Cornelius. I believe is his name. The prospector. Um, and then we have to find some gold. So that actually one part of RNG here, not everything has gold in it. So we got to find the spots that do have gold. Uh, so, oh, we got lucky there. No, there we go. We have, to two, we have to find two pieces of gold, basically. 
Um, we got pretty lucky, you know, we got, got it, uh, we only had to check three of them, so that worked out pretty well. All right, now, classic word search. This is actually randomized every time, so it's not like I know exactly where the words are going to be. So uh, we're gonna, we're doing this live. Um, let's see, where's my earmuff? Ooh, it's usually a, a horizontal word, but today it was vertical. Ham, and then mint. There we go. Noise. Just like your your dad's Sunday paper, you know what I mean? Um, so this is a race you actually can't win. Uh, but you still want to go as fast as you possibly can to end it. Um, you know, as fast as you can. Uh, one also one one thing I will mention as well that is just a terrible design uh, flaw. Um, is that they put the repeat button literally right next to the next button. So it is very, e it would be very easy for somebody to accidentally click the repeat button on any game instead of clicking the next button. And it's especially detrimental because the last game is, like I mentioned, that's <laughs> that Rudolph sing along. So it could be like 45 seconds or however long the song is and you accidentally click repeat and you have to go through it. You don't have a choice. <laughs> you have to do it. Um, the Yeti, you know, shouts to the Yeti, you know, for no in particular, no reason in particular. They make fine shirts, they make fine mini games, you know, and I've always said that. All right. Uh, that is another paint by numbers one, but that one we don't have to do for some reason. I don't, re I, there's no rhyme or reason. Like sometimes you have to do a paint by numbers and sometimes you don't. And I don't, that I cannot figure out as to why, you know, how they decide. Um, Island of Misfit Toys here. We got to find the Misfit Toys. Luckily enough, they're pretty much everywhere. I missed the train the first time. I thought I clicked the train, but that's fine. Little delay there. Get through the Misfit Toys. King Moon Racer, which is that line thing that we were going to paint by numbers, is just a cool name. I have nothing to say about it. All right, we're going to run here. Just got to beat everybody. Or don't, actually. I don't think you have to, but it's still faster to win than it is to not win. So might as well win. As opposed to waiting for somebody else to finish. All right, so this is a, an actual puzzle. Um, so we're going to put this together. It is a little bit more, again, a little bit more finicky than it needs to be. I don't know why they decided that these pieces have to be so hard to put together, but you know, here we are. That went fine. And then the Yeti wants to say hi for some reason. Pops out of the side of the screen. This game is excellent. I think if you played all of the mini games in this back to back, you could probably finish all of the mini games in the entire game in like 10 minutes. Like the majority of the run is mashing through text. I'm um, seeing these. I will say the art style is nice. Like it is very Rankin Bass if you're familiar with the movie. It is pretty cool. So I'll, that's like the one saving grace for the movie, I think. It's like it's pretty in line. I, I do think the art is fine. Not great. It is fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. So when I said that there's only one lights thing, I lied. There's two. And this one's a little bit... It, this one is a little bit more fine, even though it's bigger, because it's almost all one color, besides like a few exceptions. So it's not terrible. You just have to make sure you are using the right color at all times. And like I said, it's way more... This one is way more precise than it deserves to be. Like, none of, none of this should be precise. I don't know why it is. But, like, and you also, like, so say I put one in the wrong spot or accidentally use the wrong color. I can't just, like, click and drag to make it somewhere else. Like, for example, I just ate, ate an input there by accident. I have to, like, delete it and then re-add it. And that's just slow. Same thing there.
Almost through, gang. Doesn't it look just like a purple reindeer? Like, which is, I guess, what they're going for. Or a pig? I think it might be... Did I click repeat? Please don't make me do this game again. Okay. I really thought I clicked repeat by accident. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Really don't want to have to do that one again. That's like one of the longer games. <laughs> the only thing longer is probably the sing-along. That would have been, yeah, really embarrassing. But we got by. So yeah, we're making our way through the story. Yukon Cornelius taking out the Yeti in a sacrificial move. Only to be outdone by Gandalf and the Balrog, in my opinion. You know, you shall not pass style. Another minigame we can skip here. Um, there's one of the grosser mini games coming up. So, uh, one of the elves here wants to be a dentist. So naturally we got to clean some gunky teeth, uh, which is here. I actually do need to like listen a little bit because sometimes you can't tell if they're gone or not, but there's a slight tiny little pop when they're gone. So I do have to listen up for that just to make sure I'm not wasting time. And then if it wasn't gross enough, we also got to use a flosser. Also, shout out to this guy's teeth, which are perfectly like rectangular. Like, how do you eat food? Like, you must have to grind food like a cow. You can't like chew food, right? There's like no like sharpness to them. You must have to put it in your mouth and just do like that. But at least they're white and shiny now. Another paint by numbers we can just skip for some reason. I guess it only matters if it's a train or a Clarice and Rudolph. I don't know why. Uh, decoration sequence that we can skip there. It's just make, uh, decorating a Christmas tree. You know, I'm all about the time saves. I'm all about the optimized routing, you know? This game is very optimal. Another memory game. This one is we uh, about weather patterns. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Another, another pattern right away. It's only confusing because there's a few that are based on clouds, so that can be kind of like annoying as to which ones are which. Um, that was that, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, since naturally a lot of them are clouds, you can be confused as to which ones go where. Or at least I can. Maybe I don't speak for everybody. <laughs> And maybe I'm just dumb. But that went pretty okay. Oh man, look at that nose. I wish, I hope it guides us through safely. That's all I've ever wanted. Okay, so this is another music-based video. Oh, not another. This is the only one in this one. So, like, you're meant to tap here the colors of the valves, right? No. One, it's annoying because they don't line up on beat in order to get the grape. And two, you just not tap it. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. You just put your controller down. Take a, take a nice input break here because you don't need to do anything. You just have to wait for it to finish. I'm sorry if you play trumpet out here, by the way, too, because not only does this trumpet sound bad, this isn't how trumpets work precisely. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, see, you just gotta get through it. Nothing matters. All right. We're actually getting decently close to the end here. We only have, like, this memory game and then one other game left. Uh, that was not his shirt. That is his shirt. There we go. Oot. There we go. Nice. Uh, pants were up here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Gotta, gotta dress for success, Santa. You know what I mean? Nice. Zack? Yep. Uh, nope. All right, Santa's looking good for Christmas. Thank God. I was worried that the drip wasn't going to be there. It's not Christmas unless Santa is dripped out. All right, one last like tiny game, which is literally just like a connect the dots game here. Coming up here in a second. And which is my favorite. Watch this connect the dots. Ready? Yeah, you know, that's how connected dots work. They just show out like a very nicely drawn image when I just make it basically a long ass oval. You know, that's how it works. All right. Hope your vocal cords are ready. Get ready to sing, everybody. This is how you know the run's over. Sing it with us. Here we go. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you've ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Gonna jump the octave. Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Don't hit repeat. All right, time is coming up. We made it through, gang. We did it together, and that's all we could hope for. Time comes up when we get back to the main screen with the books. Here we go, and time. We did it, you were here for it, I was here for it. We experienced this together, and I think we came out the other side better for it. So thank you for watching. Um, this is truly an awful game, but I think people will get a laugh out of it, um, especially if your marathon is in the winter months. So I, uh, I'm excited to share it with you, and uh, thanks for your consideration.